Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Phone Doctor. Today I am following up on the S22 Ultra front screen repair. In my previous video, I went in detail on how to remove the front glass safely. If you missed this video, feel free to click here to get caught up. After the broken glass is removed, it is time to clean the optical clear adhesive or Olka for short. After you remove the Olka, you can remove the OLED from the frame. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on the final process of this repair. If you have any questions on equipment, training, or need a screen repair, feel free to contact me by visiting mrphonedoctor.com. Let's begin cleaning the Olka from the OLED panel. Now we're going to use the same temperature that we used in cutting the glass, which is going to be 120 degrees Celsius, okay? We will be using our spindle tool and of course our forward 361 max. Now the key thing when you're using the spindle is you only want to focus on areas that have a lot of OCA built in on there. You can see the difference by the color of it and of course by the texture if you touch it. Here it's pretty tacky versus this smooth area where there's no OCA. Now whenever you're using the spindle tool you always want to make sure that the spindle tool is rotating up and away from the OLED. So if we are going to be cleaning the OLED panel forward, I want the spindle to be working up and away. If I'm working downward, then I wanna make sure the OLED spindle is rotating up and away from the OLED. So that's gonna be clockwise. Up is counterclockwise, down is clockwise. Otherwise, your spindle will just end up hitting and turning and causing too much force onto your display panel. And you only want to use the edge of it, okay? You don't want to use this needle tip at this angle. Make sure you keep the spindle flat and little sections at a time, okay? Just like that. And you always want to make sure that you're starting the spindle before you hit the OLED. If you have the spindle tool resting on top of the Oka like so and start it, it's going to end up kicking because it's going to get stuck to the Oka. So don't do that. Make sure you have it spinning midair like so, and then we rotate, see that? All right, so we got that section. I'm gonna continue on and continue cleaning this lower area. So that channel's clean. Let's rotate and hit the bottom of the display panel. And you always want to be very cautious when you're hitting near the bottom of the display panel. I like to refrain from working downwards like so. Just in case you accidentally get resistance, you won't pull back and accidentally hit this OLED panel. Or excuse me, hit the flex. This is your most critical area, this gold flex on the bottom. So you want to be very careful. So what I recommend is to work this area left to right like so. That way if you do have any kickback, you're going to go forward and you won't end up slipping and going into that channel causing damage to the flex. So you want to get a little bit here. You want, you do want to get a little bit of buildup and you want to keep that buildup on the tip because it's going to help you whenever you're getting down on this edge. Since the OLED panel sitting below the frame bezel, this will help pick all that stuff up. See that? There we go. So I'll clean it there. Just resting the spindle on there. You don't want to push down too hard with the needle, okay? It should just slowly grab up on that section with the little ball that you build on the spindle. And that's it. See that? Now we can remove it and we can get this last little section. And if for any reason, if you feel that this tool is too quick for you, you can always use your index finger here to slow it down. If you press it, this does have four different speeds. It is on the slowest, but the slowest sometimes is a little too quick, especially on iPhone screens. So you can just throttle it down by using your finger. And that's it. So if you notice, you can see majority of the screen has all the big lumps of Oka removed. So our next step will be to ISO. We can soak these screens, it is safe to soak them. We'll just use some ISO on them and then we'll use our cleaning sponge. Nice and gently, just go through and clean away any kind of streaks that were left behind. And when you get to the flex, you wanna work left to right as well.
and you can continuously soak it if you like just to keep the ISO on the oka and help remove it so I'm just squirting as I need to and just working vigorously back and forth to remove these big clumps of glue you want to make sure you, this is fully clean so when we go to the laminating station it's ready for glass and if for any reason you have any big clumps there you can always introduce a clear OCA sheet the waste paper and just end up scraping these little guys off like so this just helps get all these last minute little residues out good thing with these Samsung screens is they're pretty resilient you know unless you poke them you can lose them as far as cleaning goes you can put a good amount of pressure on here and they still hold up strong all right it's looking good let's go through with our clean cloth and we will go through and do our final pass through After we have the OLED clean, we do need to separate it from the frame. Now for this procedure, we will be using our card, but first we always wanna make sure we clean out the channel. I like cleaning this channel out because if there's any kind of shards or debris and stuff that got in there, this will prevent us going through with our card and end up tearing and damaging the OLED. So we're gonna put a little bit of ISO 99 here. I'll start from the middle and work my way out so we're not dragging anything across it just like so. You can see all the crud and crime coming out of here. You might even at times see some shards of glass come out. So this is very, very important, okay? Don't just start jamming your clear card in there and start separating the screen. I recommend adding, cleaning this channel out. Next up, we have the frame separating. So for this step, what I recommend doing is using this card and you do wanna go in at an angle, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're in the channel and underneath the OLED. So what we need to do is we'll just go in here, add a little bit of ISO and we will go at an angle and just start sliding the card left to right until you get underneath that adhesive. And you'll know you're under it because you can feel it. We are under that adhesive there, which is perfect. And for those of you out there, I do recommend using a, another display as a reference point, okay? So that way when you're going with your card, you know exactly what errors to be critical and careful for. So you can see if we turn it over, we have our uh, S Pen Flex right here. Then we have our fingerprint sensor and of course our main flex down on the bottom area. If you don't have one of these, just pull one up online and have it on your phone, okay? Once you have that, we can just begin slicing this card. We'll just go through and just very gently tear through the frame tape left to right and keeping the ISO on there so that way we can get a nice little removal. ISO works wonders in this. All right, now we can do this side. Remember, we have the S Pen Flex here. You're gonna be very careful. Keep this card with ISO on it. Let's go ahead and run up across on top and tear this top section off. You can see how I'm just sawing little gestures at a time. Always keeping this card flat. You never wanna lift it, okay? starting to lift. Now once you get this frame tape removed around this top section and the edges, but if you look at an angle you'll see the little pads there. Those are adhering the OLED to the back of the screen. So what we need to do is we're gonna need to create another shim and we're gonna end up cutting these pads off. And this one might be a little, I could probably work it. We're gonna go a little at a time. So I'm gonna just cut a little slither and then we will insert this card. So now we need to gently saw these little pads off. Okay, so we're gonna just, and as you're 
doing this, you can see where the card is cutting. So just keep an eye and just want to go through very gently. So you want to be careful when you get to this area where the fingerprint sensor is. Because sometimes you may actually go in underneath this flex and end up tearing it. So just be very careful. If you feel anything kind of tight, then stop because you're probably hitting the flex. I'm gonna drop the temperature down to 70 because we do need to clean the back of the OLED and prepare it for lamination. So to dislodge this, you can simply press right here where the flex is attached. Give it a press and just take a peek inside here and make sure that everything looks nice and separated. It should come off very easy. And you never want to just pull out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of pull and tug down with it. There we go, like so. And we have safely removed it from the panel. So next up, we want to clean the OLED. So to clean the back of the frame, very simple. I recommend finding a good point where there's nothing attached, so you can see we have an opening here on these lower areas. Now, I like to use my bare hand for this. That way I can feel and have a little more precision going through so I don't hit the flex and damage it. So, you're going to just start to roll. You never want to use a nail, okay? A nail will kill it. Keep rolling until you get a little curly cue started. And once you have it, we can just continue rolling and always keep the OLED held down. Then we can just pull it. See that? Pull, pull. There we go, and that's it. Bam. Easy peasy. Now we clean the back of the OLED. And you do want to be careful when using the alcohol in the back not to get these IC chips soaked because those can short. There we have her. She's a beauty. Now we can reveal it. There we have her. Pretty screen here. Now the final step of course is you want to always make sure that it's working. So we'll boot it up to the tester and confirm that everything looks the same. But you can see touch and everything is working like a charm. That is it. Beautiful screen ready for glass. So in the next episode I will be doing the laminating procedure using the Nissan Supa light. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the bell notification so you guys are updated when that video releases. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And if there's anything you want to see, let me know. Surgeon signing out. Cheers. Cheers.